The Battle of Kolikovo, fought on September 8 of 1380, was a pivotal moment in the history of medieval Russia and the Mongol-dominated steppe. The battle took place on the Kulikovo field, near the intersection of Don and Dnepryadeva rivers, in present-day Tula Oblast in Russia. This clash was between the forces of Grand Duchy of Moscow, led by Grand Prince Dmitry Donskoy, and the Golden Horde, commanded by Khan Mamai, a prominent Mongol general. This confrontation is the beginning of the end of Mongol dominance over the Russian principalities, a period known as Mongol Yoke. The participants in this battle reflected the diverse ethnic and political landscape of the region. Dmitry's forces were primarily composed of East Slavic principalities, including soldiers from Moscow, Rizan, Suzdal, Yaroslavl, and even Belazoro principalities. They were united by the growing influence of Moscow and dislike of Mongol rule. On the opposing side, Mamai's army represented a coalition of Mongols, Tatars, Mardvins, and other steppe nomads. The majority of the Mongolian army led by Khan Mamai consisted of Tatars, not Mongols. The battle itself was fierce and decisive. Dmitry's forces utilized innovative tactics, including a hidden reserve unit led by Prince Vladimir the Brave, which turned the tide of the battle at a critical moment. The victory at Kulikovo demonstrated the potential for the Russian principalities to unite against external threats and bolstered the political and spiritual authority of Moscow. The implications of the Kulikovo field battle were profound. Although it did not immediately free the Russian lands from Mongol control, it marked a psychological turning point. The battle symbolized the decline of Mongol influence and the rise of Moscow as the center of a future centralized Russian state. It also sowed the seeds of Russian unity and resistance, ultimately leading to the liberation of Russian principalities in 1480 under Ivan III, also known as Ivan the Great. For this video, we will explore the genetics of two Golden Horde soldiers from the territory of modern-day Kazakhstan, dated to roughly the time of the Kulikovo field battle. These soldiers could have participated in the battle under the leadership of Khan Mamai. Let's start with DA-29. This individual resembles Eastern Europeans in autosomal DNA and carries white lineage R1A Z280 associated with Slavic peoples. His ancestors were most likely slaves who chose to join the Mongol army. Here is his predicted phenotype. He is predicted to have blue eyes with an amber center ring, light brown hair color, olive skin color, curly hair texture, and a snub nose shape. Regarding his dopaminergic profile, he had intermediate rate of dopamine reuptake and higher D2 receptor availability. He had intermediate odds of autism, lower levels of empathy, lower odds of obesity, and blood type A. He had high odds of exfoliation glaucoma, cataracts, age-related macular degeneration, corneal astigmatism, baldness, type 1 diabetes, breast cancer, prostate cancer, and polycythemia vera. He carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's, hypopastasia, IBS, Fabry disease, and panic disorder. He had low odds of erythema nodosum, hemoglobin E disease, migraine, gout, polycystic ovary syndrome, leukemia, vitiligo, atrial fibrillation, deep vein thrombosis, bipolar disorder, type 2 diabetes, Alzheimer's, and testicular cancer. The second individual we will talk about resembles various Mongolic peoples and was most likely of Mongol descent. It is possible he was a high-ranking Mongol general, as the Mongols assumed positions of leadership and the Golden Horde. Here is DA-29's predicted phenotype. He is predicted to have brown eye color, black hair color, light brown skin color, straight hair texture, and a snub nose shape. Regarding his dopaminergic profile, he was a warrior, had high D2 receptor availability, intermediate odds of autism, lower levels of empathy, average odds of obesity, and blood type O. He had high odds for polycystic ovary syndrome, cataracts, age-related macular degeneration, rheumatoid arthritis, epilepsy, atrial fibrillation, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, and thyroid cancer. He carried rare risk variants for Puss Jaggers, hypopastasia, familial hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, and Lee from any. He had low odds of erythema nodosum, migraine, eczema, stroke, baldness, deep vein thrombosis, depression, type 2 diabetes, Alzheimer's, 
prostate cancer, polycythemia vera, and testicular cancer. Consider leaving a like and sharing if you enjoyed the video. Links to purchase the two genomes, along with my trade predictor executable, will be in the description.